We are back with a health alert from officials as whooping cough surges in the U.S. Yeah, concerning stuff. So far this year, there have been more than 8,000 cases reported, which is more than double the number of cases this time last year. Experts say vaccine hesitancy is playing a big role in that spike. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel is here with some tips to help keep you healthy and safe. Dr. Patel, good morning. So is that what's driving this, vaccine hesitancy, or is there other things at play? It really is a combination of primarily vaccine hesitancy and then the fact that we really do depend on all people kind of getting vaccinated around individuals who can't to create that community immunity. Those two things combined, but really the vaccine rates have declined double digits in many of the states that have been affected around the country. Mm. Well, and those numbers actually make a lot of sense. And pneumonia is one of the most common complications of whooping cough, and it can even be deadly. So what can yeah. people do to lower their risk other yeah. than obviously vaccinated? Obviously getting vaccinated. Most children, we recommend getting vaccinated under the age of one for whooping cough. It's part of a series that you might have recalled from the pharmacy or doctor called DTAP, mm. diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis. The P in pertussis refers to the bacteria that causes whooping cough. And so it's called whooping cough because Children, infants especially under the age of one, cough so frequently that in order to take a breath and they have to take a big <gasps> whoop and you hear that kind of classic whooping cough. Candidly, guys, it's something we don't see a lot yeah. anymore. So even recognizing it can be a little difficult initially. So parents should be on the alert if their children are not vaccinated or if many household members are not vaccinated.